हेलो ऑल वेलकम इन मॉड्यूलेस इंस्टीट्यूट बेसिकली इन दिस लेक्चर और इन दिस वीडियो वी फोकस टू सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज आस्किंग द ए एम आई एग्जामिनेशन प्रीवियस ईयर एंड द क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड विद द थर्मल साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग द सब्जेक्ट इज कंपलसरी फॉर द मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर एंड नाउ द सब्जेक्ट हैविंग द so many chapters but this question is to be the asking from the subject thermodynamics in the thermodynamics the question is related with the first law of thermodynamics for the open system it means the question is based on the we all of know about the steady flow energy equation and this question is related or based on the concept of steady flow energy equation for the open system the question is mentioned here this is the steam turbine for steam turbine or tur in simply turbine basically the deals with the steam turbine the some data in the question is given like that here to be mentioned suppose this is the entry steam in and this is the out this is the entry point here mention 1 and this is the exit point is to 2 the pressure and the temperature at the point 1 is mentioned 2 mega pascal and 4 degrees 400 degree c and here the exit condition is mentioned here 15 kilo pascal now this is the saturated steam and here the steam to be exit having the quality it means this mention here the dryness friction dryness friction if if all of you go through the concept then we can easily understand the concept of question or we can solve the question but we not go through the whole concept you can't solve this problem so you must be if the subject you choose the thermal science engineering must be associate with the modulus institute the modulus team must be uh, guided to how to study and how to score in this subject so here we are starting to solve the problem this all our data is given the velocity is 0.1 is given 50 meter per second the elevation is 10 meter now the v2 is 180 meter per second and the elevation at point 2 is 6 meter so first of all we calculate or we find out some data with the help of pressure as well as temperature temperature at the point 1 or point 2 now the power output is given as here the power output is given as 5 megawatt and the question is basically asking determine the work done by the steam turbine and the second part of the question is asking determine the mass flow rate so we started to to solving the first case after that to solve the second part of the question now your some data is to be the missing and with the, the we aware from this we all of we all know that if the problem is associated with the thermal science and engineering the steam table is must be allowed in the examinations because a numerous problem to be asking which is related with the steam turbine a steam table either psychrometric problem rankin cycle problem or thermodynamics problem so from with the help of a steam table unknown data will be calculated from a steam table the steam table is allowed in the question allowed in the examinations if the steam table is not to be allowed in the questions the whole data which is related to be the question is given in the mention in the question but here the data is not mentioned in the question so the steam table is must be allowed or 
in every examination the steam table is to be allowed in the conventional paper either semester paper or conventional competitive paper so first of all we find the enthalpy at the point 1 if we find out the enthalpy at the point 1 and the enthalpy at the point 2 so we can easily calculate how much enthalpy drop to be drop from point 1 to 2 at with the help of a steam table at 2 mega pascal and 400 degree C the enthalpy at the entry point or a steam to be in at this point is calculated or find out with the help of a steam table is 3247.6 kilojoule per kg and similarly now at point 2 and the pressure at point 2 is mentioned here 15 kilo pascal now this is the weight steam conditions and here the H2 is calculated with the help of dryness friction and dryness friction or quality of the steam is to be the mentioned in the question x equal to 0 0.9 so with the help of that we can easily calculate the enthalpy or exit point enthalpy first of all we found out here some liquid part this is the weight con here the point 2 represent the weight conditions now if the point 2 represent the weight conditions so first of all find out the enthalpy of the liquid as well as the enthalpy of the weight steam with the help of dryness friction then we can calculate the enthalpy at the point 2 now at 15 kilo pascal the hf2 it means the enthalpy of the liquid at the corresponding pressure hf2 is with the help of a steam table is now 225.9 kilojoule per kg now the weight condition hfg2 hfg2 here 2373 0.2 kilojoule per kg so the h2 equation is we all know all this equation hf2 plus x hfg2 putting the value here hf2 to 225.9 plus 0 0.9 into hfg2 with the help of steam turn 2373 so all this data to be calculated with the help of a steam table the steam table to be we know the steam table is allowing the examination now the h2 is calculated here h2 is calculated here 0 0.9 into 2373 0.2 plus 225.9 2361.78 kilojoule per kg the h2 is calculated with the help of dryness friction and now this type of the system is follow the condition the condition here condition the first steady flow And the second condition is adiabatic. Adiabatic process. It means the system is follow the steady adiabatic condition. If the system is steady adiabatic conditions and this system is like an open system. So we can we know do, we know that if the system is open system and this type of the problem is to be asking in the question first of all to be find out the missing data either given in the question or with the help of a steam turbine if we find out the missing data with the help of a steam turbine or or find out in the questions 
now we move to the solving the cross questions and the basic equation apply the apply the steady flow energy equation steady flow energy equation we know that steady flow adiabatic heat interaction is zero now the h1 plus v1 square by 2 plus gz1 and the heat will be heat interaction for the adiabatic is zero now the h2 plus v2 square by 2 plus gz2 plus w of the turbine this is the steady flow energy equation and the turbine work is to be the found found with calculated to be the help of this equation now So here the WT is, is calculated H1 the whole data is take, taken left side plus V1 square minus V2 square divided by 2 plus G is taken common Z1 minus Z2 the data is putting here h1 the value is kilojoule so this these all values to be converted in the kilo h1 is here 3247.6 minus 2361.78 plus 50 square the velocity at the point 50 square minus 180 square divided by if the value is calculated in kilo must be divided by 1000 it means 2000 is taken here plus g is 9.81 and the elevation is 10 minus 6 divided by 1000 in kilo so here the wt is calculated Three two four seven point six minus two three six one point seven eight plus fifty square minus one eighty square divided by two thousand plus nine point eight one the 10 minus 6 is 4 to 4 divided by 1000 in kilo and solving the this value it means here Six minus two three six one point seven eight nine point eight into four. The value is calculated here eight seventy point nine one kilojoule per kg. So the work done or the the turbine work is calculated here. 870 the data will be cross checked the 870.991 kilojoule per kg this is the first part of the question calculated now the second part of the question is asking determine the mass flow rate mass flow rate the mass flow rate is represented by m dot and the m dot is given as output power power divided by 
work done. Power divided by work done by turbine per kg. Now putting the value here, the power is given as 5 megawatt in the kilojoule 5 into 10 to the power 3 kilowatt. Divided by work done is here 870.91 kilojoule. So here the mass flow rate is here calculated 5 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 870.91 so the mass flow rate is calculated 5.74 and the unit is kg per second the second part of the question is to be the solve and also the first part of the question is solve it means the whole concept to be reflect here if all of you go through the basic to advanced level and study the each and every concept which is related to the particular subject then you can easily solve the problem which is asking in the examination now the thermal science engineering basically have broad syllabus in the AMI the thermal science is having base thermodynamics whole syllabus the basic of IC engine basic of RSE and the 80 percent of the heat transfer subjects these four subjects the, all these four subjects to be the combined then the thermal science engineering for the AMI so you carefully study the concept to if we scoring the good marks in the thermal science to start from the basic thermodynamics move to the IC engine, basic IC engine, basic RSC and after that heat and mass transfer. So follow this way to build up the concept which is related with the thermal science. I hope you can understand easily and now in the ne next video we also take the classes in the different way and the different questions to be asking which is related to the different chapter okay thank you